Hello and a very warm welcome to LMT Royal YouTube channel. Right now, Meghan and Harry hosting a specially curated edition of Time 100 Talks. The episode is about improving the digital world and creating more more compassionate communities online and engineering a better world. The Time 100 Talks series of virtual conversations that joins together extraordinary leaders from every field to encourage solutions. Welcome, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, to Time 100 Talks. Thanks so much to you both for being with us. Thank you so much for having us. Thanks, Edward. Very nice to see you. This is great. Thank you. I'd like to start really just by asking how you've been doing during the pandemic. You're, you're doing so much work for others, but of course, it's so important that we all check in with each other during this crazy and challenging time in the world. How are you? How, how are you coping with this strange moment? Yes, thank you for asking. You know, I think um, all things considered, everyone is grappling with a different version of the same thing. And for us, we are just trying to embrace all of the quality time we get with our son right now and to not miss a single moment of his growth and development, which has been really special. Um, yeah, I think um, when, when people ask, how are you? And it, it, I, I, I sense it for you. It's, uh, it's a case of really, how are you? Because mm. we, we before this year, I think everyone sort of throws that term around and everyone's satisfied with the, yeah, I'm good, I'm fine, thanks. And then it's moving on to something else. But I think you're quite right. It's this year more so than ever, it really is a question of, no, 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 how, actually, how are you? Mm -hmm. um, and in answer to that, we're good. Um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff to be focused on, a lot of work. Um, but as, as Megan quite rightly said, you know, this is a, an opportunity to spend more time as a family than we probably would otherwise. As I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, you've both been deeply focused on working toward making online communities kinder and safer. How do you decide where to spend and, and devote your time? There's so many urgent needs in the world, of course, right now. How do you prioritize? How do you think about where you can make a difference? I mean, I think for both of us, individually and also as a couple, our commitment to the causes that we have really work towards for a long time, well before even knowing each other, are unwavering. And it was only in the past couple of years that we both started to connect the dots of all of the work that I was doing on women's empowerment or young girls and their sense of self and self-worth and seeing what the online spaces were doing to that community. And equally, I think, you know, obviously my husband has worked quite a bit in the space of mental health, but also the environment, which you can touch on. Yeah, I think, I think that the, the mental health aspect is the most obvious to people. I think that's very much been uh, a topic of conversation across a lot of the platforms, but also uh, in the media as well. And let's not forget that these places are, are a refuge for some people, but it is a sort of, a, it can be a sort of a, a love-hate relationship. Um, but certainly, you know, for the things that I'm passionate about, especially for, for the environment that I've been involved in it with now for of 12, 15 years, for me, what I see is the digital space hampering the progress that needs to be made. Um, and this misinformation that seems to snowball from one place that is that is in the online space, uh, in the online space even, and then ending up in, the, in, in, the, in our physical world. And, you know, a lot of the time we don't know where it comes from. We don't know how to trace it back. So... Yeah, I think to that point, both of us realized well, hold on a second. We can continue to champion these things that we're, that we're passionate about. We can continue to do this work to try to affect change and help the people that need it most or the communities or environments that need it most. But it's almost like you're taking two steps forward and five steps backwards if you can't get to the root cause of the problem, which at this point right now we see in a large way is, um, as, as a lot of what's happening in the tech space. So we've been, we've been on a, a journey to learn as much as we can since... Um, really January this year and are happy and privileged to be able to do this with you, to bring to you some of the people that we've been learning from um, and to share that with, with your viewers and your readers. Harry, you mentioned the media, the role of the media, and, and I wanted to ask, um, how do you see the media's role in this conversation about online community, pro and con, and connected to that, why was it important for you to partner with us on this topic? Yeah, I think it's, um, I think the media's role is absolutely vital, not just in this, but in, in, in everything that's going on in the world. Always has been, always will be. Um, I think you know, there's a huge amount of trust that we all put into media and digital platforms um, that, you know, that sometimes is, 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 
is undermined. But I think the main reason for us to want to partner with, with time is trust, um, is truth. Um, and I think now more than ever, there is this overwhelming desire for everybody out there um, for, for that, for truth, because there is so much information being thrown around from one side to the other. And, and you know, to, to remain so, so neutral uh, in as much as truth is neutral, um, I think is, is, is a really obvious choice for us to, to, to partner with you guys. And the impact that you're making and the, and the stories that you're, that you're sharing is really moving the needle. Well, we're, we're very glad to be working with you and particularly on this topic. You've, you've brought together a, a remarkable, brilliant group of leaders and thinkers for this program starting with Alexis Ohanian, who you'll be speaking with, I know, in a moment, Megan. But why did you gather this group? What, what if you could just talk a little about um, the varied perspectives you've, you've brought in for, this, for these conversations and, and what you see as the connective tissue in the program? I mean, I think for both of us, when we started dipping our toes into this, it can feel really overwhelming to try to understand all the nuance of what happens online. I, it is all encompassing and it affects us at a multifaceted level. And so we started with professors and experts in the field, with defectors from some of the largest platforms. Neurologists. Neurologists, people to really help us view it through a holistic approach. And and in that, there have been relationships and, and now friendships that we've formed with a lot of these people who have a shared goal of wanting to make the space healthier and better for all of us. But, you know, from Tristan Harris, who um, was one of the first people we convened at an event at Stanford, at Stanford January or February of this year. Um, and just really so knowledgeable on not just what the problems are online, but trying to find solutions for it, which is important to us. Um, Sethia Noble, who now has become a friend as well, wrote an incredible book called Algorithms of Oppression to really help us see what is happening that we don't have a, a choice in just by doing a simple search online. I think uh, for me, I mean, there's, a, there's a huge part of this when, when you're driving a car and all the, all, the, all the warning lights are going off and the smoke pouring out of the hood you're not going to keep on driving, you're going to pull over. Now in the olden days, you could probably pop the hood, have a look have a look under it, and maybe perhaps fix it, or at least have a rough idea about what's going on. But now every single one of these new cars has a shield over the top of it. And it means you can't actually fix it if you want to fix it. You've got to call the experts in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're, we're not experts in this field by, by, by no stretch of the imagination. So for us to be able to convene the experts and say, this doesn't feel right, and you guys know that it's not right. Where, how can we explain this to people? How can we make people more aware of the problems? Because, you know, as a, from a branding perspective on the outside, it all looks great. But what our job is, especially through, throughout, these, uh, throughout these conversations, is to get people to listen to the experts and for them to explain how what is happening on the, on, in, the online, in the online world mm -hmm. is affecting the world. Yes. Um, it is not. It is not restricted to you know certain platforms or certain social social media uh, conversations or groups. This is this is a global crisis. A global crisis of hate, a global crisis of misinformation, and a global health crisis. Uh, of one of which, again, these people that we're about to that we're about to speak to, there is no one else better to be able to explain it because it is a very confusing issue. Yeah, and what's been great as well is to put them in the same room with each other. And many of them yeah. know each other, but also for a lot of them, they hadn't connected. And to really look at this, this isn't just a tech problem. This isn't solely a mental health or mm -hmm. emotional well-being problem. This is a human problem. And, and what's happening to all of us online is affecting us deeply offline. Mm -hmm. So these are the people that we feel um, will help find the solutions that we all need. And on that note, thank you again for being part of today's program and conversations. Thank you for giving us the opportunity. It's really, um, it's an honor to be able to be here. Yeah, thank you, Edward. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will be with us throughout the program today to guide these important discussions. Before we wrap up today's show, I'd like to thank all of today's guests. We'd also like to thank P&G for making today's important conversations possible. And I'd especially like to thank the Duke and Duchess of Sussex for putting together such a powerful and thoughtful Time 100 Talks program. Just to wrap it up, 
you, you both spoke to many leaders, advocates, change makers in the digital space today and in an ongoing way I know, people who are actively doing the work to create safe, healthy, trustworthy online communities. And I know they've provided for you and through the program and in general just a wealth of knowledge and insights on solutions and next steps. So I, I just wanted to ask you in closing, you know, what do you, what do you hope what do you hope everyone comes away with from today's uh, program and, and what do you see as next steps? Maybe it's nice. <laughs> That's very kind. I hope that everyone comes away with one action item that they realize they can do in their own home, in their own life, in their own interactions online that they know and can now see will make a positive effect on how they're interacting with themselves and with others. And I think from all the knowledge um, that we were able to hear today, everyone in their own different way, I would imagine, comes away with something they say, I can do that today. Mm. I can do that today and that will help make a difference because it doesn't have to be so big. I think a lot of the, um, the impact we can see is in all of the small things. I hope people come away with a sense of optimism that there are, there are a huge number of experts that really know their stuff. Um, that have done the research, that have got the statistics, that prove firstly the problem, but also have 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 part of the solution. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you know, just touching on what Megan was saying there, it's, you know, there's, there's so much that we can do to help ourselves, but there's so much more that we can do that our act, our decisions, how it impacts everybody else as well, both online and off. Mm -hmm. And I think that that power of of, of retaining the of taking back control each and every one of us taking back control so we are not controlled by this platform, that we are not controlled by this device. Mm -hmm. And there are certain things that we and you can do that, that, that will make a huge impact in your, in your own life. And I think that will be felt across, uh, across the world because you know, over half the world is, 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 is connected in this sense. Mm -hmm. Just wanna thank you both again. Really a pleasure having you be part of Time 100 Talks. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus even more LMT Royal videos about your favorite Royals are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one. Don't stop.